In this video, we will continue with exam style questions of further differentiation. You will find this on page 514 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. The parametric equations of a curve are x equals 2t plus lin t, y equals t plus 4 over t, where t takes all positive values. Keep that in mind. Okay. The curve has one stationary point. Find the y coordinate of this point and determine whether it's a maximum or a minimum point. Okay. So let's start as always. We're first going to differentiate this equation. So dy over dt is just going to okay, first get it ready for differentiation by taking that t out. So it's going to be 1 there, negative 4, and if I subtract 1, it's negative 2, and I can bring it down again. Then dx over dt. Okay, so that will be 2. And then it will be 1 over t. And if I make it one fraction, put this over 1, then multiply t, multiply t, so it's 2t plus 1 over t. Okay, and if I swap it around, then it's t over 2t plus 1. Okay, now we're going to multiply in order for the dt's to cancel out. So don't forget, we are multiplying, um, let's just see, we are multiplying this with this, okay? So there I showed you, and I multiplied with this. I can, because it's just, um, I can first make this one term. This is what I did there. Put it over 1. Then I multiply t squared, t squared. Then I get t squared minus 4 over t squared. Multiply this. Then it's 1 in front of the back bracket, t and t squared. And I can even multiply um, this further, uh, the, the, one of the t's can cancel out, and then that's the difference between two squares. So there it is simplified. Okay. So at stationary points, I know that dy over dx is zero. Okay. So I'm, I'm first going to find that value of t. Okay. So if I put, so remember, this is over 1, so I cross multiply, that becomes 0, and I'm ending up with this, and it's plus minus 2. But t takes positive values, so it's only t is equal to 2. Can I just stop here? If you were finding that point, okay, this is just asking the nature, but if you had to find the point, then you would have taken this value of t and uh, substituted in the original x and in the original y and that would have give you the point x y keep it in mind for example one okay so that this value that i get after i put it equal to zero i just substitute it into the two original equations to get the value of x and y of the code of the point the stationary point okay but now i want to find is this stationary point a maximum or a minimum and this this is very very important that you take note of this the second derivative uh, derivative of parametric equations it's not normal it's parametric equations so I'm going to differentiate again dy over dx this this formula I'm going to differentiate it again yes basically this one let's just get another color Okay, so I'm going to differentiate that again, but I must multiply it also with dt over dx. Okay, and where was dt over dx? That one. Okay, so remember, this is the quotient rule. Now, can you still remember? I rewrite the denominator, I differentiate the um, numerator. Then subtract, I rewrite the numerator, I differentiate. Um, the denominator and then I take the denominator and I just square it remember it's the quotient rule go back to the summary to find it or you can go in the beginning of this chapter and then don't forget to multiply with the t over 2t plus 1 okay so I did all the differentiations there okay 
and then I started, it's, it's quite a lot of multiplication, but I just multiply this in, I multiply this too, I bring the negative in, then at the end I multiply it with the T and I get this. This, because the brackets are the same, do you see, so it's, it's free of that brackets and as well as the T squared. Just leave it like that, you don't have to simplify it further, you just want the nature. And, and it's still the same. If it's a negative value, it's a maximum point. And if it's a positive value, it's a minimum point. So at the stationary point, I know that t is 2. I substitute it. Oh, what do I get? I get a positive. So it's bigger than 0. Therefore, the stationary point is a minimum point. It's a lot set, but make sure you are able and also know how it differs the um, Parametric equations from the normal stationary points. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number one. Find, that means you must also find the stationary point and determine the nature of the stationary point. On the curve defined by the parametric equations, and here it comes, and this is what I want to write down. So x is equal to 3 minus t3, and y is equal to t squared minus 2t. Okay, so I'm going to start, I'm going to say dx over dt, and it's negative 3, and it's t squared. And dy over dt, it's 2t minus 2. Okay. Then don't forget to swap this one around. So dt over dx is, put it over 1, so it's 1 over negative 3t squared. Okay. Now I'm going to multiply. And I'm going to say dy over dx, and it's just, remember, this is over 1, so it's 2t minus 2 over, over that um, 3t squared, negative 3t squared. Okay, I can just leave it like that. Okay, now I start. They say... Um, if I, I first want stationary points, so remember, at stationary points, let's just get the color correct, at stationary points, dy over dx is equal to zero. Okay, so let's just do that. In the place there, we put a zero. Okay, so we cross multiply, we get 2t minus 2 is equal to 0, so I get 2t equals 2, so therefore t is equal to 1. So okay, I'm going to make it red, therefore t is equal to 1. Now, because they also said find, and um, I must just say, from here on, in the first print of the teacher's guide, I made a mistake. So please take note. In the second print, I will correct it. So if it's a little bit there, from there on, it starts. Up to here, it was correct. Okay. So basically, at the stationary point, now, I want to find the stationary points. I said, take that. So what will be the stationary point? So... Um, I'm going to say, let's just find it. Oh, I'm just going to use it there. Then it's not so. No. If t equals 1, then, and I'm going to just directly substitute it this time. Okay, and that is going to be equal to 3 minus 1, and that is going to be equal to 2. And... And now y, there's your original, y is equal, and then I put that 1, squared minus 2, 1, 
and that's going to be 1 minus 2, so that is going to be negative 1. So I can end, so therefore, the stationary point is 2 and negative 1. Okay, but I'm not through. I find it. Now I must determine the nature of the point. Okay, now you must remember this. Okay, now we're going to find the nature of the stationary point. Now in, in order to find nature of stationary point, Point, find d square y over d x square. Don't forget, how do we do that? We find we are going to differentiate to t, actually dy over dx, but remember dy over dx is actually in terms of t. And then we are going to multiply it. And it, that differs from normal stationary points when it comes to parametric equations. We multiply it with dt over dx. Okay. okay, so basically I'm going to find that one, and let's just find that one. So it's d over dt, and it's going to be 2t minus 2 over negative 3 t squared, and then I multiply it with my, I will now look up and show you, dt over dx. Okay, now don't forget, this is still the quotient rule. So, what will I do? I will rewrite my denominator, and I differentiate my numerator. And then it's always subtract, and I rewrite the numerator, and I differentiate the denominator. And I square, I'm now going to bring that other one, I square my denominator. So what is my denominator? Negative 3t squared, and I square that. And don't forget that I'm also multiplying it with that dt over d, which is 1 over negative 3t squared. Can I just show you up dt over dx? Um, where it was? dt over dx there. Do you see? It was there. Okay. And I multiply it by that. Let's just go up. Okay, and then I'm just going to do the, now the action. So it's negative 3 t squared, okay, and a bracket. If I differentiate this, this will just be 2. Okay, I like to put a brick bracket here due to that negative. So 2t minus 2. And if I differentiate this, negative 6t. And if I square this one, so negative 3, this will be 9, okay, and it's t to the power of 4. And I multiply with 1 over negative 3 t squared. Okay. So this is negative 6 t squared minus, okay, and now if, if you multiply this, you are just going to get negative 12 t squared plus 12t. Okay. okay. And it's going to be over 9t to the power of 4. Multiply 1 over negative 3t squared. Okay, let's go on. Um, it's just a lot of simplifying now. So it's negative 6t squared. This becomes plus 12, and I can simplify that now, minus 12t over 9t4, multiply, oh, 
1 over negative 3t squared. Okay, so then this will be um, 6t squared minus 12t. And, and I, can, I can simplify that, I can factorize something, but it's not going to have any influence. Because at the end, okay, we can just basically leave it. Oh, let me just multiply together with that one. So that one will give me negative 27 t to the power of 4. As I said, you can factorize, cancel out, but it's not going to have an influence. So I'm rather just going to say 60 squared minus, I just control, negative 20 t to the power of, it's not 4, but 6. But the feeling, something was not correct. Why 6? Because 4 plus 2 is 6. Okay, so at the stationary point, I have to use another color. And stationary point, t is equal to 1. So therefore, 6, 1 squared minus 12, 1 over negative 27, 1 to the power of 6. If I simplify this, this is 6 minus 12 over negative 27, and that is going to give me negative 6 over negative 27, which will, and if I simplify that, I can divide by 3, the negative, so it's positive, and then it's, if I divide by 3, divide by 3, if you will, doesn't matter actually, but then I get 2 over 9. Okay, I was just interested to see if it's positive or if it's negative. And now it's positive. So I say, therefore, d square y over dx square is bigger than 0. Okay, so the stationary point. So the stationary Point. And what was that stationary point? Can you remember? 2 and negative 1 is, if it's positive, it is a minimum. A minimum point. Minimum point. Oh, okay. And that's how you do it. Just